separate slide and uh, definitely that is not uh, uh, economical if you are uh, if you want to say paper and all so best thing the best thing you have you can do is that uh, you can write this option called as handout inside inside the options in beamer once you do the handout part of it what happens is that all your animations are just removed off are just removed off and you just maintain the presentation itself the presentation itself remains as it is and the, with all the animation being removed so what you can do is that when you do the presentation when you do the presentation keep it in the handout mode so that uh, you can just write you can just uh, write all the contents of it and then and then uh, take remove this handout option so that uh, the present uh, remove this handout option and then compile it so that uh, you know then the animation features uh, come compile in and besides uh, and besides this is more if you put this in the handout mode and wait, do all the edition and typing it's much easier to handle and if you have the animation out you just have to do a lot of scrolling up you just have to do a lot of scrolling up uh, scrolling job up and down to get the document done okay that's one that's one thing and finally uh, one more topic uh, one more topic that's kind of important to say is that how to make a multiple columns uh, or multiple col multiple section uh, contents next to each other suppose if we have a suppose if you want to have a picture like this and you want to give an explanation uh, explanation on the side okay if you want to do do do, 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 do these kind of options in presentations uh, it's possible with the option of mini with a feature of mini pages what you do is that what you do is that within begin frame and end frame write write a mini page that mini page command that we used uh, in one of the previous one of the earliest tutorials for make for dividing the document into multiple sections in pitwise you can use that start a mini page environment and then uh sorry start a mini page in the environment and write the orientation like left or center or towards the right and then set the width of the mini page to width of the mini page to the length set the width of the mini page here i'm setting this with mini page width to be 45 percent of the text width okay and here at this part here i'm just I'm starting another mini page whose width is uh again 45 percent of the 45 percent of the page so i have about two mini pages with each occupying 45 percent of the page so i have like i use something like 90 percent of the width width to write and uh, in one of the in one of the mini pages i included this figure included this logo that we used over here uh for an image for an image caption image and if you have a caption to write or something you can just very well write it at the bottom uh, or if you want to go with the conventional way of using begin figure and end figure, you can just use it. Not a problem. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because since you are working only with the slide, the number of contents you put will be very will be very less. So you don't you don't necessarily have to uh, use begin figure and figure for environments. It's not necessary. It's not necessary. But you can just skip that part. But if you are working with the document, that's necessary so that it's the figures are nicely maintained okay and then uh, if you to avoid some unnecessary spacing and you want them to be nicely stretched out or filled out uh, to occupy optimal positions in the page use h fill thereby the images if you look at this part this is actually the cent this line you see this division between this red and blue that's actually the midline midway mid of the slide if you see that the documents are kind of nicely aligned this is center and then this hedge fill is used for pushing them uh, pushing them to the sides like that and simple as that and this way if you want to write three columns what you do is just put another hedge fill and then write copy this and put another mini page mini page and then that's about it and make sure that the length of these mini pages are adjusted so that uh, they all fit in the same page and all fit in the same slide that's it and uh, one more th uh, and that and that way you have not only two columns you can create multiple columns in the same width okay and uh, what else can you do can you put tables yes can you put right scientific symbols and notations yes you can yes you can and uh, can you put uh, equation arrays yes you can can you put write code snippets yes you can do that also 
you can do that also so for instance let me give you guys an example of uh, example of that uh, a presentation which i made okay this presentation uh, i'll just show you guys okay this one this is actually the python uh, workshop presentation i made for my institute for to give uh, for the workshop i conducted in my institute okay from my in my institute the thing is i initially started this with latex but the problem i faced is that uh, i problem i faced is that when they are writing the code now for every time i have to write a code i just have to write a begin listing environment uh, end listing environment every time so it became we can kind of a little too much annoying for me then what i did is that afterwards i took some pain and i learned how to how to write code how to write and present code in ipad on notebooks and how to make it uh, how to make it presentable and that made my job much much simpler so i kind of shifted to that but anyway uh, anyway the purpose i'm showing you guys this is that i'm just giving you guys an overview of how a presentation can look like okay uh, this is my short name i just use my short name department my institute the title of the uh, uh, presentation and then the dates which come over here i used cambria i sorry i used cambridge us theme with beaver beaver, uh, beaver color color scheme from my themes and this is how the outline looks like the preliminary settings the python a python code snippet uh, to make this possible to make this possible i just written a i just defined a lot of defined uh, some fixed fonts the top by adjusting the bold uh, by adjusting the normal sizes and bold sizes so that bold sizes okay i have used a co color package and defined my own defined some colors actually these actually i kind of use i kind of used the con code snippets which i found in stack exchange or uh, share share latex i just copy pasted them over here and but i still made some slight adjustments so that it's okay for me and then i use this uh, use package listings remember one of the remember one of the previous tutorials where we spoke about how to include source for source files the same thing i use lst set L lst set and define the language basic uh, fonts font style number background everything i said uh, i said all of this in one shot all of this in one shot and then uh, as a reason wherever i have uh, code snippets they all uh, code snippets list written inside lst listing they all appear like this they all appear like this this now to make these kind of options possible with uh, two contents back and forth okay i'll explain to you guys how this uh, slide came out to be now i'm breaking it down simple variables oh the next slide yeah this one to make this slide possible what i've done is that i've used this option called as begin columns instead of mini pages begin columns is also e another way to go look about it what you have to do is you just write begin column and end column and the uh, end column or no no sorry you just write sorry you just write begin columns and at the bottom you write end columns and inside it what you do is that you just you just uh, you just made a column environment and what you do is just split the columns by saying one column is 0.4 times the line width or 40% of the line width and set the other and and then afterwards i wrote this content core begin lst listing and then wrote the wrote the fort um, python code over here python program code over here and then after this listing i just wrote another column of 0.4 times line width and then i wrote the output and these contents with the, which which they appear over here which they appear over here and then i end column this way is kind of little more kind of little more convenient in sometimes writing contents like the, these uh, but the but the downside is downside is columns if you write contents with columns they can be interfering like this so if you look at this part clearly this line is interfering with the contents written in the in this line over here is kind of like that and uh, columns tend to you know uh, truncate the contents suppose if, fortunately here there's hardly any content below below this line so it's this is expanding not a problem but if there are more contents over here then this diction, this line will be truncated this line will be truncated in this place so sometimes in these kind of cases mini pages might be useful but, but then again 
you should it's based on your judgment if you think uh, columns are better you use columns or if you think mini pages are better use them accordingly